welcome back light fanatics today we've got a video about colored light we always like a challenge at artifact industries and we've been requested uh, by a good client of ours to produce a certain pantone uh, a certain number of pantone references um, but to achieve those with colored light so what i'm going to do today is take you to an on-site uh, demonstration of how we program uh, the colours with one of our key suppliers uh, at Entech. Uh, they're another Melbourne manufacturer, um, make things locally, we love using them. So please uh, stay tuned and watch how VJ programs Colored Light for us. Hey guys, um, my name is VJ from Entech. I'm going to help uh, Mike and the guys from Artifact out today with some testing um, with the with the project they're working on using some RGB strip. So I'll just quickly go through the setup we've got here. Um, what we've got here is a DMX driver. So it's uh, it's got up to six channels and uh, it takes DMX signal in to, to dim the uh, various channels accordingly to get the colors that you need. Um, and we need to talk to that driver um, from our computer where we've got the software and how we're going to do that is through this little interface here, the Entech USB Pro, uh, which converts the uh, data from USB into DMX uh, in order to speak to this thing. So, um, got everything configured at the moment. Um, we are just on the Pro Manager software for our interface, and I'll just quickly chuck through a test pattern, and we can see that the strip is on. So. Um, we are communicating successfully with, with the unit. Um, I'm just gonna chuck this over to Artnet now and we'll go over to the lead mapping software that we're gonna be using to do our test. Uh, so essentially this is a, this is a software for doing, um, for, for mapping you know, hundreds or even thousands of pixels. Um, you, you essentially create a stage with, the, with a bunch of pixels and um, and then you can superimpose media content on there to, to create patterns. Uh, what we're doing with this today is we're just going to use a single pixel from here and um, and do some color matching with that. So if I go to testing here and turn that on, we'll see that this strip is lining up accordingly to uh, the, the test patterns that are running on this stage here. Now if I move the pixel out of the way, the media isn't superimposed over that pixel anymore. Um, so it turns off, but I'm just going to put that back on there so we can see what's happening. All good. Um, so now we're going to go back off and we're going to punch in some of these colour references that we've been given for this project. So uh, what we've got here is a Pantone colour um, and the R, G and B component parts. So I'm going to type that in now. 248. And for green, we've got 207. And for blue, we've got 169. So typing that in, we get this nice peachy color here um, uh, on, on, on the screen. Uh, now what we're seeing on the strip is a bit different because there's a difference between emitted light and, uh, and reflected light. Um, so without getting too technical, um, the, the Pantone colour that you see over here, the 2015C, um, that's a printed colour. Uh, whereas what we're doing here with the LEDs is we're mixing R, G and B, red, green and blue, to try and make that colour up. And the thing is, uh, if you see these colour, uh, if, you, if you see this colour uh, breakdown, you've got the R, G and B quite high in proportion. Now that essentially means you're mixing a lot of that red, green and blue together. And of course we know that when you mix a lot of red, green and blue together, you get white. Uh, and that's why what we're getting on the strip is looking a bit different to what we're seeing as the colour uh, as the color output on the screen. So essentially what we have to do is we're going to have to play around with this a bit, uh, manually change the color composition of this strip. Maybe mix a bit more red in there. Or maybe go up a bit. 
towards the green and yellow. And see, now we're getting a nice peachy pink colour, which has a quite quite a different composition to what was uh, what was given to us from the Pantone colour, but it's a bit more reflective of uh, of that initial colour that we were meant to see. Um, and so basically, this is just going to be a, a a process of trial and error, going through the different different colours until we get. Uh, until we get combinations for each for each option, lock it in, and then and then we're good to go.